Hey everyone, it's Zoe here from Octo Studio, also known as Zinnia, and today I wanted to show you how to make an item collecting game with multiple levels on the phone. Recently I showed how to make an item collecting game, and this is a part two to that video. Uh, so yeah, let's get started adding more levels. So first, let's pick a backdrop for whatever we want level two to be. So you can tap the backdrops button and you know either upload a picture, take a picture. I will just choose this one. I like this backdrop. You can switch what the backdrop is with this block in the scene category, which is called, let me find it. It's called set backdrop. And it lets you set the backdrop to a backdrop of your choice. And so let's make it set the backdrop to the pink and blue sky at the beginning or just whatever backdrop you want to be the starting one. So we'll have that happen when the play button is pressed. And then, well, we want it to switch to the level two backdrop. Let's say when the player gets five points. A way you can do that is in the control category, you can drag out this if block and it says like, if score, here it says if score is less than two, then do something. Well, let's have it be if score is equal to five, and let's have it in that case, set the backdrop to this one. So if I test that out, let's go here. So I am playing the game, I collect the waffles, do do do. I collect the waffles, and then when I get to five points, it switches to the next backdrop. You could also have it play another sound when this happens. So you could tap here to choose a new sound, and I honestly, I like this one, this arcade. So we can tap accept, and then we can make it play that sound. We could also go to the words and sounds category and drag out this block, text, to display some text on the screen. So. I'll write, let's see if I can do this without typos, level two, uh, almost, exclamation point. And I'll actually choose the pixel font and accept that. And so yeah, now it should change the backdrop when the player gets five points, play the sound and switch to level two. So let's try it out. So we're getting points and we get to five points and it switches a level. Um, but uh, if you're noticing, it plays the sound and then it shows the text because uh, we should probably change this to play sound and continue so that it will play the sound and show the text at the same time as each other. So let's give that another shot. So collecting waffles or whatever item you've chosen and ah, there we go. Now you go to level two and you get five and it plays the sound and does the text together. So yeah, that is how you can make your own uh, collecting items game with multiple levels. And of course, there's tons of things you could add to it. And I'd be really excited to see all the things that you make. Also, if you have more ideas for tutorials, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'd love to see, but yeah, uh, see you in the next video.